Hallelujah. My name is Kaldi Nathaniel Tomomewu, and I'm so glad to reach out to you this beautiful morning. Today is Tuesday, is recognized as the day of victory. Therefore, I pray for you in every area of your life that you are believing God for victory. You will, you will get it in Jesus' name over the life of your children, over your finance, over your health, over your spiritual life. Every area you are believing God for victory, receive it in Jesus' name. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Now, don't forget that the best way to start your day is by being grateful to God. So, go ahead and celebrate Him, and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Now, we have been talking about help. That is what evil is telling us. We are in the season of help. First Chronicles 27 verse 12 make us to know that the captain that is leading us this month is Abiesa, which means the father of help. That is why I am praying for you in the name of Jesus. Help that you need will locate you in the name of Jesus. Don't forget I said yesterday, the difference between a successful person and a failure is the help that is available for them. Is the help. Is the help that, that is why help in life is very, very important. But today I'm going to be talking about five set of people that cannot receive help. And the reason why I'm saying that is because if incidentally or coincidentally you find yourself in this list, you quickly remove yourself. That is why I'm saying it. You quickly remove yourself because without help, you can't go faster. <laughs> the success distance in life is determined by help kilometer. Without help, you can't go far. Once you see this, as I list this, as I go about this list, if you find yourself, then remove yourself immediately so that help can locate you. Let me quickly run through the five set of people. Number one are people who refuse to accept biblical solution to their problem. If you, if those that refuse to accept biblical solution to their problem, they cannot receive help. That is number one set of, that is number one set. If you refuse to accept biblical solution, what do we mean by biblical solution? It means God's way of dealing with problem to have solution. If you refuse biblical solution to your problem, you cannot be helped. Number two set of people are those who doesn't believe they have problem. <laughs> if you don't believe you have problem, you cannot be helped. You can't be helped. You cannot be helped. Now, a wise man said, if you if you don't believe you have a problem, if somebody has a problem and he doesn't believe he has a problem, it's a problem on his own. That is what a wise man said. Number three, which is the third one, are those who are too proud to seek solution. Too proud. There are people too proud. Too proud to, to seek solution to their problem. It almost happened to Neymar, but thank God it quickly changed. There was a, a there was a junction that Neymar was proud, but thank God they counseled him. If you are too proud to look for solution to your problem, you will die without help. The number four are those who see their help as, as, as part of their problem. That are, that are those category of people that see their helper, that is number four set, they see their helpers as part of their problem. When you see those that will help you as part of your problem, you cannot be helped. For example, God is number one source. God is our number one helper. God is our number one helper. And there are people that see God as part of their problem. How will you be helped? There are people that see human beings that God sent to help them as part of their problem. How will you be helped? Then the last one are those that have alternative outside the power of God. There are people that have alternative outside God for a solution to their problem. If you have alternative outside God, you, know, you cannot be helped. If you receive help, it's for a short time. Is an aim that will lead you to a greater problem. So please, I want to, I pray for you today that your head will not reject help. Your head will not reject help. Oh, that is the, that is, that is, please look into this list and examine yourself. If you find yourself there, remove yourself. 
And the prayer I want you to pray today is that, Lord, my head will not reject help. My head, you, you hold your head, you prophesy to your head that my head will not reject help. And as you pray that prayer, the Lord will bless you. You are not born again. Put your hand on your chest and pray this short prayer. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord, be my Savior. With my heart, I believe. And with my mouth, I confess. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. Please help us to share this message. Let it go viral. Join our team of reaching 10,000 people globally. And share this message. And don't forget our Bible reading. Be faithful to it. And the Lord will bless you. See you tomorrow. Today will be a great day. You will come back with testimony. I cover you with.